Falls are the leading cause of injury, hospitalisation and death in Australia. While all people who fall are at risk of injury, our age can affect the severity of the injury and how well we recover. Falls requiring hospital treatment are more common in people over 65, but it's not just a concern for older people. Many people would be surprised to find out how bad their balance is, which could make them more at risk of a fall. Balance training as part of a fitness routine can go a long way to reducing our risk of falling and improving our outcomes if we do. What do we mean by falls? The World Health Organization definition of a fall is an event which results in a person coming to rest inadvertently on the ground or floor or some other lower level. The most common kinds of falls involve slipping, tripping or stumbling on some level. Falls can also involve stairs or steps or household objects that can create an obstacle like furniture or cords or even a rolled up corner of a carpet. Falls can happen at any age but tend to happen for different reasons. Children might fall from playground equipment or when playing sport. Adults can fall in the workplace like off a ladder or from a roof. What are the most common injuries after a fall? Fractures are the most common falls injury that requires hospitalisation. 90% of hip fractures are a direct result of a fall. It's a myth that a hip break causes a fall. It's almost always the fall onto the hip that causes the fracture. Having one fracture makes you four times more likely to have another. And fractures can lead to lengthy hospital stays and rehabilitation and can lead to permanent disability that in turn can lead to a loss of independence. Falls can also cause serious head or neck injuries and even death. What are the signs that someone is a falls risk? The easiest way to tell if someone might be a falls risk is if they can't get out of a chair without using their hands. This is a sign that they've lost lower limb strength and coordination. People can be fearful of losing their independence, so if they fall, even if it doesn't cause an injury, they might start to fear falling and lose their confidence in their ability to move around at all. And this can further increase their risk of falling as they lose more strength, balance and mobility. Alcohol and other drugs, including prescription medication, can interfere with balance and vision and increase the risk of a fall at any stage of life but ageing is the big risk factor. Who is most at risk of falls injuries? Women outnumber men in falls related injuries. They are hospitalised more and more often die as a result of their injuries. Menopause is likely a factor because muscle and bone loss accelerates at that time. Even severe bone loss like osteoporosis doesn't make someone more likely to fall but it does make them more likely to fracture if they do. An underappreciated risk of falling is poor posture. People tend to shrink as they age as the discs in their spine compress. If they have osteoporotic fractures in their spine, they can become very hunched over. This posture reduces their field of vision when they're walking and it can even make clothing hang closer to the floor, which can be a trip hazard. When should I get help? If you've fallen and severely injured yourself, you should go to the nearest emergency department or call triple zero. If you're experiencing dizziness and falls, you should definitely see a doctor. If you're finding that your balance is deteriorating, it's time to do something about it before you have your first fall. How are falls treated and managed? Treatment of falls injuries will depend on the type and severity. In many cases, they will require a hospital visit and associated rehabilitation. Even if there's no injury, other factors that have contributed to the fall should be managed. For example, your doctor might review your medicines in case any are making you especially drowsy or unsteady. They may also recommend getting your eyes checked to see if eye problems like cataracts have played a role. How can exercise prevent falls? Staying as active as possible for as long as possible is the best defense. Exercise physiologists and physiotherapists can provide exercise programs that can be done at home to rebuild your strength and balance. The trick is to do activities that challenge your balance, where you've feel as if you could fall over if you're not careful. But to do them where you can catch yourself if you do start to fall, such as beside a railing or a sturdy piece of furniture on a non-slip surface. This can be done at any age, but it's especially important as soon as you begin to lose muscle or mobility, typically around middle age. Research suggests it takes about two hours of balance training a week for at least six months to reduce your risk of falls. That can sound a bit daunting, but it can be incorporated into other exercise you do to improve strength and mobility. For example, when you go walking, 
add heel to toe steps along the edge of the pavement for 20 meters or so every so often. Or you could go to the kids' playground and try some of the play equipment that challenges balance, making sure there's something to grab hold of should you need it. Keep doing all your favorite sports, as many and varied as possible for as long as possible. In our research at Griffith University to improve bone mass and reduce osteoporotic fractures, we've found our heavy lifting program also improves posture, which reopens the field of vision when you're moving around and it helps to keep your clothing fitting properly. It also helps to improve balance and mobility and it means you're more likely to be able to stop yourself from falling or land how you choose if you do fall. Can home and lifestyle changes prevent falls? Most falls happen in the home, so removing any trip hazards like rugs and electrical cords and making sure your home is well lit can help prevent falls. Avoid footwear like loose slippers and long clothing. Having a balanced diet as you age to prevent excessive weight loss is also helpful in reducing the impact of falls. Getting enough calcium for your bones and protein to build muscle is also important. Don't forget, you need vitamin D to help your body absorb the calcium you eat, so try to get around 10 minutes or so of sun on your skin in the morning or the afternoon. Sun strength varies depending on where you live in Australia and the time of year, but there are resources online to guide safe sun exposure. Falls are a major health problem in Australia and around the world, but with some changes to your home and your lifestyle, you can reduce your risk of a serious falls-related injury.